Hello, and today we're going over the new Crow gadget and which gadget is better for Crow and which star power is better for Crow too. Okay, so for so first what we're doing is that we're gonna I'm gonna be saying what Crow's gadgets and star powers are. So Crow's first gadget is that Crow gets a shield that reduces damage taken by Crow for sixty percent for three seconds. And then gadget two is anybody poisoned gets slowed for 2.5 seconds. Anybody with cr that's poisoned by cr the crow is gets slowed for 2.5 seconds. And then the star power is, uh, number one is anybody poisoned does 20% less damage to the crow and his t allies. And then star power two is that crow does 120 uh, more damage from each dagger with both his attack and super to enemy anybody with less than 50% HP. Okay, but then we're gonna go over which one is better in every game mode and then overall for both the gadgets and star powers. So for gadget one and then gadget two. So in solo showdown, um, gadget number one for Crow is S tier because 60% reduction basically guarantees a victory uh, against another opponent in solo showdown so that's why it's s tier it's probably if not the best one of the best gadgets and in, in for solo showdown but gadget two on the other hand is b tier or uh, maybe a tier but probably b tier overall but definitely on the upper end of the b tier because um the fact you can only slow one enemy but in solo showdown, you can like catch up to enemies or um, get away from enemies. So that's pretty important. But yeah, so it's B tier, but not, not amazingly good. Okay, but then for duo showdown, for gadget number one is S tier because the 60% reduction again is just so much. And yeah, and then in du um, duo showdown for gadget number two, it's B tier, but... Um, uh, because catching up to people and getting away from people, it's a little bit less important for duo showdown, but you can slow down two people in duo showdown. Okay, but then in gym grab, um, gadget number one and two are both A tier because they're both really good in it, but I think gadget number one is the way to go. I mean, gadget number two is the way to go, just being slightly better than gadget number one in gym grab. Okay, but then in Brawl Ball, um, both of them are A tier again because they're both so good. Especially the sec um, the second one is, a but I think the second one is a little bit better. Because uh, slowing down enemies in Brawl Ball is just really good. Because, and yeah. Okay, but then for um, Bounty, um, both of them are A tier. But I think the gadget number one is slightly better. Um, because in... Both, uh, because in when you're talking about fights, getting into fights, then Crow Gadget number one is better, and that's why it's better in Bounty too. And then Siege, um, A tier for Gadget number one and B tier for Gadget number two, because B, um, Gadget number two in Siege, s the slowing down enemies is not that important as uh as much as damage reduction. And then in Heist, um. Again, slowing down enemies is not as important as um, damage reduction. So, gadget number one is A tier in heist, but in gadget number two is B tier in heist. Okay, but then in but the last game was hot zone, and gadget number one is A tier, and then gadget number two is B tier because it yeah, there's not much to say about it. Okay, so, but overall, gadget number one is A tier, and gadget number two is B tier. Both of them are pretty good ga uh, gadgets, especially gadget number one, because it just damage reduction is just so good. But gadget number two could be A tier, just slightly in the B tier more, I think. Okay, but then in, um, let's go into the star powers. In star power one, in star power, uh, star power one in solo showdown is B tier because um, you can on only one person. Um, you only, only one person can, 
Oh, wait, wait. If somebody's poisoned, then um, you're the only person that gets damage reduction for the person that's poisoned. So yeah, it's not that good. But in the in get for gadget number two, it's AT because dealing more damage in solo showdown is really important. And yeah, and then um, star power one again is do uh, and duo showdown is B tier, and then star power two is do and duo showdown is A tier. But then. And so yeah, and then but in gym grab they're both A tier, but I think star the star power one is slightly better, and then but in in brawl ball, um gadget number two is B tier while gadget number one is A tier because damage reduction can be really good for brawl ball. Okay, but then in star in uh in bounty they're both A tier, but I think the uh the second star power is slightly better. Because in 1v1 situations, I think it's going to be a little bit better for dealing damage. And then in Siege, um, Star Power 1 is A tier while Star Power 2 is B tier. Because I don't feel like, um, yeah. And then in Heist, uh, it's the other way around where Star Power 1 is B tier, but Star Power 2 is A tier. And then in Hot Zone, Star and then Hot Sun, it also flips again, where Hot and Star Power 1 is A tier in Hot Zone, and Star Power 2 is B tier in Hot Zone. And yeah. So, but overall, Star Power, both of them are A tier. Star Power, Star Power 1 and Star Power 2 for Crow. But I think Star Power 1 is just very, extremely, slightly better than Star Power 2. And yeah. So... The set of gadgets and star powers you want to use for Crow, if you have them all, is the gadget, the first gadget, and then the second star power f overall are better. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you like it. And also, I'm going to be doing, if you like, if you did like it, then I'm also going to be doing this, um, this video, f um, uh, this type of video for all the, uh, when all the other gadgets come when all the other 10 gadgets come out so yeah um but bye